Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about a group of traitors who spied against the British government giving away secrets to the Soviet Union. So sit back and get ready to learn about spies who were the great British traitors. Kim Philby Kim Philby is one of the most famous British traitors of the 20th century. He was a British intelligence officer and a double agent for the Soviet Union. In 1963 he was revealed to be a member of the Cambridge Five spy ring, which had divulged many British secrets to the Soviet Union during World War II and the Cold War. Kim Philby fled to the Soviet Union before he could be arrested in 1963. He died in Moscow in 1988, ironically one year before the collapse of the Soviet Union. Klaus Fuchs Klaus Emil Julius Fuchs was a German physicist and atomic spy who stole information from the American, British and Canadian Manhattan Project and gave it to the Soviet Union during and after World War II. In 1950, Fuchs confessed that he was a spy and a British court sentenced him to 14 years in prison. He was released from prison in 1959 after serving just nine years in prison and immediately fled to East Germany. Fuchs then became an eminent nuclear professor for the communist East German regime until his death in 1988 in East Berlin. John Cairncross John Cairncross was a British civil servant who became an intelligence officer during the Second World War. As a Soviet double agent he passed secrets to the Soviet Union that influenced the Battle of the Kursk. He was alleged to be the fifth member of the Cambridge Five spy ring. Cairncross confessed in secret to MI5 in 1964 that he had passed secrets to the Soviet Union. He also confessed to journalists from the Sunday Times in 1979 that he was in fact a Soviet spy. Cairncross was given immunity from prosecution by the British government. His status as the fifth man was established in 1990 by Oleg Gordievsky, the KGB defector. John Cairncross died in England in 1995 after suffering a stroke at the age of 82. Donald Maclean Donald Maclean was a British diplomat and a member of the Cambridge Five spy ring which supplied government secrets to the Soviet Union. As an undergraduate at Cambridge University, Maclean openly proclaimed his left-wing views and was recruited into the Soviet intelligence service, the NKVD. In 1951, Donald Maclean was exposed as a spy, but before he could be arrested, he fled to the Soviet Union with another spy, Guy Burgess. In Moscow, Maclean worked as a specialist on British policy and relations between the Soviet Union and NATO. He died in Moscow in 1983. Guy Burgess Guy Burgess was a British diplomat and a double agent for the Soviet Union. Burgess was also a member of the infamous Cambridge Five spy ring that handed over thousands of top classified documents to the Soviet Union. In 1951 Guy Burgess was exposed as a spy along with Donald Maclean but before they could be arrested they fled to the Soviet Union. Guy Burgess suffered from poor health and alcoholism resulting in his early death at the age of only 52 in 1963 in Moscow. George Blake George Blake was a spy with Britain's secret intelligence service and worked as a double agent for the Soviet Union. He became a communist and decided to work for the Soviets whilst he was a prisoner during the Korean War. Blake admitted to handing over details of some 500 undercover British agents to the KGB, many of whom were then executed by the Soviets. George Blake was arrested for spying in 1961 and sentenced to 42 years in prison. However, he escaped from Wormwood Scrubs Prison in West London in 1966 and fled to the Soviet Union, where he lived until his death in December 2020. Melita Norwood Melita Norwood was a British civil servant and a top-level KGB intelligence source. 
She is most famous for supplying the Soviet Union with state secrets concerning the development of atomic weapons from her job at the British Metals Research Association. Despite the high value of the information she passed to the Soviets, she refused to accept any financial rewards for her work, and she argued that her disclosure of classified information helped to prevent a third world war. A film about Melita Norwood's life starring Judi Dench was made in 2018, entitled Red Joan. Melita died in 2005, having never been arrested by the British government, even though they'd known she was a spy way back in 1965. Alan Nunn May Alan May was a British physicist and a confessed Soviet spy. He supplied secrets of British and United States atomic research to the Soviet Union during World War II. Alan Nunn May was arrested in 1946 and immediately confessed to espionage. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. However, he was released early from prison in 1952 after serving just six and a half years. Alan Nunn May died of pneumonia in Cambridge in 1978. After his death, he left a statement confirming that he had no regrets about his spying activities. Well, that completes our list of spies who were Britain's greatest traitors. See you again soon. Bye-bye for now.